So I want to thank everybody for coming today, and, and thank you so much, Reverend Sykes, Reverend Cole, for letting us use your facility here. It's a real pleasure. Amen. And uh, we just, I want to introduce the people here. Um, I was telling Pastor Sykes, but um, it's just a bunch of people, for those of us that don't know, it's just a bunch of people. I, I counted it up, it's from 11 different churches, and I believe six different states. Amen. Just get together and praise the Lord. Amen. And it's been Amen. a real blessing to me to be a part of this, this group. Um, I, I hate it, but I forgot to give you guys a program. I, I, I hate it. Um, but there's a couple of things that um, I wanted to read here that is on the back of the program. And it's the Southern Anabaptist Music Retreat Choir consists of people who assemble here to sing just for the weekend. So we just got together Friday, Saturday, and are, are uh, singing this evening. So we'll probably make a few mistakes, but bear with us. Amen. Um, our goal is to encourage and pursue excellence in music and singing both here and in our home communities. Our intention is to first of all honor God. Amen. And secondary, strengthen our commitment to and care for those around us. In the concert, we picture a circle. And this is something that uh, the conductor here, Brian, which is my cousin, by the way, I'm very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the concert, we picture a circle, the choir is one half, and you as the, as the congregation are the other half, and we in invite you to join us in worship. And we picture a column of praise yes, ascending God. unto heaven. And we pray that it can be honored and glorified to God. Amen. Um, the next song that we're going to sing is called If My People. And it's a song that has meant an awful lot to me in the last while, having gone through some stuff. And I'm sorry that I have to read my Bible here on, on my phone. But um, it has meant a lot to me in the last while. If My People, which are called by my name, it's, it's uh, based out of 2 Chronicles 7. Uh, verse 14, and I'm going to start reading, actually I'm going to read verse 14 first because I really want to pay attention to that one. Um, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear their, heal their land. Um, that's what I want to really pay attention to here. What's happening in this verse, Solomon is dedicating the temple. A famous, beautiful, absolutely wonderful temple. And in the dedication there, they sacrificed 22,000 oxen and 122,000 sheep. Just absolutely amazing. Um, so that is the setting here. And I'm going to read, I'm going to start reading in the last part of verse 10. And after all this had happened, all the sacrifices had taken place, Solomon sent the people away into their tents, and they were glad and merry in heart for the goodness that the Lord had showed unto David and to Solomon and to Israel, his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house to, came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. And in his own house he prosperously affected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer. And have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I should have heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be opened and my ears should attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. A lot of times we like to blame all those around us for our problems. Maybe it's the politicians, maybe it's the leaders in the church, maybe it's our parents, or maybe it's our children that we like to blame for all of our problems. But if my people, which are called by my name, will yes. humble themselves, yes. it it will make a difference. But the list must all be complete. The list is that you have to be God's people. You have to be God's people. You must humble yourself. There's no room for pride. And you must pray and seek His face passionately with all your heart. Yes, Lord. And you must turn from your wicked ways. And if those four things happen, God will hear, God will forgive, 
and God will heal you. Think of that as we sing this song, If My People Which Are Called On My Name.
bringing your burdens to God is one of them. The other one is uh, just a little talk with Jesus. Kind of a light comment on it. But the truth is, prayer makes a difference in you and, and in your uh, circumstances.
next two songs, one is Send Forth Thy Spirit, um, wonderful hymn of just when we have God's Spirit in our hearts, hopefully it affects others, it goes out and changes the world. The next one is called Hear My Prayer, and just a passionate cry for God to hear our prayer in the morning, whenever. Every day, all the time.
they wrote about half the songs that we have in scripture, about half of them. And there are songs that were sung by David and recorded. I think that's amazing on the word that we have them. And it's a very familiar song. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all your land. It says, serve the Lord with what? Yes. And come before his presence with what? Singing. Sing. And that's what we're doing tonight, singing. You know, we can't just always be singing. We have to have preachers. Yeah. <laughs> and preachers need to admonish us and speak to us. But singing is a tremendous part of worship. And I'm so glad we have a singing group here tonight. I've been really filled with joy and happiness and courage in my walk with the Lord tonight. And I'm so thankful that this is happening. You know, I'm a grandfather, and you can tell by some of the things that you see on my body. Also a father, and we have grandchildren on the course of that. Amen. And that's Amen. such a wonderful thing, that they're learning how to sing at a young age. I don't know how old David as a shepherd boy was when his doctor affected the sheep, but I don't think he was very old. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing, and then it says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his house. You know, many times, in the scriptures that talk about Christian saints as being sheep. And so that, so that is what he's referring to. Are the sheep of the Father. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And we've been doing that tonight. That one song says, Bring your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of them. And we have this faith and we pray that God will give us deliverance from the burden of encourage. We can be encouraged. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures hollow all generations.
Easter season where uh, the spring, where I meant to say, we're getting into the spring where we think about Easter a lot. And we are, we rejoice over the land.
Christian life is a good life, thankfully, even if it's not a long life, it's a wonderful life of sacrifice, and it's truly better to give than to receive, although we love to receive things, but it's better to give. We, we would love for everybody to be Christians, and many of us know the song, Just As I Am, and that's what this next song is, we have a song of invitation, if uh, you would like to know the Lord, and then just a couple of more songs. We're almost done. The next one after that is a song called God's Gonna Set This World on Fire. And the way I would choose to interpret that song is that God sets this world on fire through his people. It may be referring, maybe the writer even meant to refer to his version of the way the world ends, I don't know. But the way we're the way I would choose to look at this is through his disciples, God set the world on fire. That's what we're doing. Hopefully doing here.
gospel, isn't it? Amen. 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 What I like about this is that they, they songs are sweet and short. <laughs> they're, they're not like our songs. We like to drag our songs out. <laughs> but they all saying the same thing. And that is, all of us want to go to heaven. Yeah. All Amen. of us need to have a little talk with Jesus. Amen. 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 So we thank God for them. We thank God for uh, those who come out to hear them. And most of Amen. all, we just thank them for wanting to do it here in New Zion. Amen. 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 Uh, Brother Miller uh, redesigned this building. Uh, and, and we said, well, hey, you did a favor for us. <laughs> We're going to return the favor. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because if you had asked me before we did this, I would have said no. <laughs> because I would have been embarrassed. But I thank God, amen, for them. Thank God for Reverend Cole, who is here with us. Uh, my assistant, thank God for my wife. Thank God for our members. I see Deacon in the back. Thank God for him. Amen. And the rest of our members, amen. You know, it's hard to get people to do the stuff that they are familiar with. But I put it like this. When we get to heaven, there's going to be no separation. Preach, Reverend. We all going to be together. Yes, sir. Black, white, yes, it does not matter. We're all precious in his sight. That's right. So we're not going to divide each other up because of the denomination. Amen. Everybody Amen. that loves the Lord is going to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Paul says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. He didn't break us up into groups, but he just said we leave this world. We will be present with the Lord. So again, we thank you. Um, he says that you're his cousin. Mm -hmm. That's right. All the way from Washington. Amen. 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 I, I would love for you to work with some of us. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the voices, that's, I mean, they just sound so sweet. Beautiful. I mean, they're beautiful. They come together. There's no music. I, they get their notes, and then they go from there. So if you have not enjoyed yourself, then you might need to check yourself. Amen. <laughs> I'm sure that I've enjoyed Amen. myself. Yes, sir. Again, the songs are short and sweet. Amen. And I just love it when anybody like praising God because that's what we're here for. Amen. We're here to praise God. We're here to encourage each other. We're here to lift each other up. So God bless you again. I'm going to turn it over to you all because this is the earliest we ever got out of church. <laughs> so I'm going to hurry up. We've got one more song. It's called Lights of Home, and what a wonderful sight your home should be to you and to your children. Just look for that.
guys missed. Thank you for coming tonight.